Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with the Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 29th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun, 304 angstroms, as we have five sunspot regions to talk about. And a couple of them producing multiple C-class solar flares over the past 48 hours. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Pretty active sunspot region on the right-hand side. And as well, plasma filament eruption. The last frame there. Watch for a small ejection right there. And then in the outgoing position, we did have that large plasma filament. As noted yesterday... Watching on the right-hand side as it lifts away. And as well, bright, active sunspot region, equatorial region of our sun. Another closer look here at plasma filament taking off from the northwest. As well, the plasma filament from yesterday, but watching the bright region on the left-hand side. As a plasma filament destabilizes and creates a tsunami on our sun. Having a look at multi-spectrum, those are our coronal holes, which are turning away. Pretty active sun, to say the least, as we've seen about a dozen C-class solar flares. Long duration solar flares as well, from the five Earth-facing regions. But notable in the south there, last few images, big coronal hole break. So stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide, give you the latest tomorrow with new images. Having a look at 171 angstroms here at the five sunspot regions. Just some amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with Daily Events Worldwide. And thank you all for tuning in. Please don't forget to smack that like. Having a look at current space weather conditions as they are low, but solar wind speeds do remain pretty dominant. 590 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux in a heightened C range after seeing multiple C-class solar flares and long duration affecting our planet as these were Earth-facing. Geomagnetic activity seeing at KP3. Having here a look at the cosmic energy penetration map showing long pulses from our sun, especially along the west coast in the East Pacific Ocean. Looking at real-time solar wind right now, sitting at 592 kilometers per second after being up over 704 kilometers per second. Last two days have been pretty steady, fast solar wind streams. Let's just have a look at the last 30 days and we can see the start of our space weather event And we've now seen all of the earthquakes to follow. Having a look at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing a CME taking off right towards Earth, but in a southward fashion, that was that plasma filament eruption, but took off straight towards Mercury and Earth, expected arrival third into the 4th of May. Having a look at LASCO 2, the last 48 hours of events, a few hours of imagery missing here, Watch 28th into the 29th. Just a couple hours missing there. But right after the CME that took off from the southern hemisphere of our sun. Now let's get to earthquakes as we are still up over 300 earthquakes over the 24-hour period. And we're seeing an earthquake swarm happening at Heber, California. And it started early with a 4.1 magnitude earthquake and show you exactly where this is. Pretty far south of the Salton Sea. USGS reporting 352 earthquakes the past 24 hours. And a lot of them have been here in Heber, California. Southern California, 3.7 just recently. 11 kilometer depth. But you can see we've got about 71 earthquakes in the region. 
following the path of that river there, but following the same direction as the fault line to the east. Other than that, not too much to talk about. Some minor activity across the U.S. Hawaii is seeing minor activity as well. And Alaska reported a 6.2 earlier, but it's gone now. Japan with a 4.9. Indonesia, pretty quiet today. Papua New Guinea with a 5.0 there. And then the deepest earthquake today. Tonga region, 4.3, just under 300 kilometer depth. As well, south of the Australian plate into Antarctic plate, 5.1 there. Macquarie Island, 4.7 earthquake here. Somalia plate, Northeast Africa. And as well, Turkey and Greece seeing a couple 4.5s. South America, way too quiet today. Central America as well. Heads up through these regions as we are still expecting something bigger here to come, especially with this ghost earthquake that just happened in Alaska. The 6.2 was reported across many sites, but is now gone. Let's have a quick glance here at the last seven days for shakers across the world and take a quick moment to thank you all for watching tonight, inviting me into your homes to stay aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. I want to welcome all of the new followers as well. Thank you for subscribing, hitting your notification bell so you don't miss an update. Daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Pretty deep earthquake event that we've seen this week and still haven't seen any repercussions, so heads up, stay aware and prepared. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery around the world, as well talking about the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. We do have quite a big low pressure system over the United States right now. Cloud cover over eastern Canada and the U.S. Having a look here amongst the 192 active hazards, Ibu in Indonesia. As well, Popo in Mexico. Tornado warnings across Florida. Got Sabancaya in Peru, Isangue in Ecuador. As well, Reventador in Ecuador, Shevlich in Russia, Semru, Indonesia, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala. As well, we have a newly awakened volcano, the Desca Bazaro, Desca's Bazaro Grande in Chile. Now, this is a very large volcano we do not want to be erupting. Having a look here at whereabouts this is in southern Chile, Desca's Bazaro is a very large stratovolcano in Chile. Giving some updates today as it has awakened. We haven't seen any activity here since I've been reporting. But this is a very large volcanic range. And as I said, we do not want this beast to be erupting. He's got a couple babies there beside. But still, Desca Pazito is a large stratovolcano in Chile who has now awakened. So heads up. Carrying on here with the Pacific Disaster Center, that is about all the volcanoes getting updated today. So about 10 volcanoes, one of them being brand new. Having a look at satellite imagery, large low pressure system over the US and up into Canada. Having a look at satellite imagery here, as there were multiple tornado warnings across Florida with this large system. Satellite imagery showing a huge funnel cloud coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. And this has been happening for the last few days. Hence all of the moisture that was flooded northward into parts of eastern North America. A pretty intense system moving across southeastern United States. That low pressure center is now heading towards New Orleans. Having a look at the rest of the world. Low pressure system still moving northward through the Pacific. As well as some moisture bands moving into parts of eastern Australia. No tropical systems, no typhoons to report. Having a look.
outlook around the rest of the world. Cloudy conditions through Europe as big low pressure system sends in waves of moisture as well a low pressure system eastern Mediterranean through Turkey. Let's have a look at the world weather forecast brought to you by windy.com. Having a look at that low pressure system spinning across and into eastern Canada. Watch for pretty cool conditions after this system finally moves through. It's going to take about three or four days. And then the next system will be preparing itself as the low pressure systems come in from the Pacific. Other than that, high pressure ridge across most of Canada this week. Going to keep things dry across the prairies. Long range forecast showing another system moving in. Overlooking South America and Africa. Daily evaporation rains. But watch for heavy rains and extreme weather through parts of Argentina. Other than that, no major weather conditions to report. Strong system south of Africa. Overlooking Europe. Southeast Asia. Pulses of moisture moving through the equator off the east coast of Africa. Heading eastward. No cyclones in the forecast. Last look here at the Pacific Ocean overlooking Australia. Dry this week, but New Zealand is set to see about three or four low pressure systems in the next few days as well pretty intense system moving across japan heading north eastward towards alaska high pressure ridge building in off the west coast and through canada also wanted to give you an update here on the sulfur emissions forecast models as things are starting to clear out from these large low pressure systems across the northern hemisphere Sucking up a lot of the ash and SO2. But still seeing some major eruptions there. South America and through Mexico. As well, Kamchatka. Still seeing some eruptions from Shivalich, Bezimiani. Heads up, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world